What's up everybody? I'm here at Shift Studios in Alton, Illinois, and this week I want to talk about these lenses that I recently purchased, actually for the third time, the Contact Zeiss. Um, these are the GL Optics Rehoused, but I've had them cine modded two times before, and um, I love these lenses, and yeah, let's get into why I love these so much. So there's a lot of videos out there on YouTube about the contact Zeiss lenses and, and how they have a very similar characteristic to the Zeiss Super Speeds, which are known for shooting tons of movies and being used widely on film sets. So these are with the same coating, the T-Star coating, and they were manufactured around the same time. So they are beautiful lenses and I first purchased them in 2020 and I got like a five lens set and then I built it out to an eight lens set and it was fully cine modded and EF mount and I've shot a bunch of different things with with those lenses on a EF mount on an Alexa Mini or Pocket 6K Pro. I've used them on a lot of different cameras and different projects, but in the end, I just don't like using cine modded glass. It's just too difficult on set to get the matte box or the follow focus or just even focus throws. So I always wanted to rehouse my contact size lenses and I just never had the money to. Lenses have actually been a really good investment of mine. I think I spent around 10 grand on that eight lens set. I ended up selling those for 14,000. And then I bought some Tokina cinema zooms that were PL mount, a three lens set for I think like 11 or 12,000 and sold those for like 13 or 14. So I'm always making a little profit every time. And then I rebought the contact Zeiss and just four lenses. I didn't cine mod them because I had planned to use this Ivascope anamorphic adapter and I shot some pieces with that and that looked great. So I've always loved the characteristic of contact Zeiss and finally, this year I bought these GL Optics. I think they're the Mark Threes. They're up to the Mark V, so they're much newer, but those lens sets will run you around $50,000. And I spent $14,000 on this five lens set. They still have excellent build quality, um, solid steel or aluminum or whatever they make this out of. <laughs> I should know that. I think it's aluminum. It's built tough and you've got 330 degree focus throw, 95 millimeter fronts and PL mounts and it it works. I would say that maybe on the newer Mark 5s you might have a longer gap on the the further end of your focus throw. So like I have a 330 degree, but a lot of it is like in the close range and then when you get out to like from six to infinity or six to 15 is just that much. So I think on the newer Mark fives, they might have extended it so that your focus throw with the 330 degrees is kind of equal through the whole thing. Anyways, that's one note, but I feel like I couldn't beat that price of 14,000 for a five lens rehouse set. This set comes with a 25 to nine a 3529 51.5 85 1.5 and a 13529 for the more expensive mark fives you're gonna get faster lenses your 35 would be like a t1.5 and someday i would love to upgrade to like an eight lens uh mark five or whatever's out at that time but for now these are great um and i shot some sample footage right here in the studio that kind of shows the characteristic they they have awesome flares i i, I really like them um they're organic but they're they do flare quite well and easy it's not like hard to get these lenses to flare but they have a fall off that is just like the super speeds i don't know how to describe it it's like classic these definitely look like vintage lenses but they're sharp even wide open the fall off isn't as crazy as like anamorphic or um, maybe some other vintage lenses like the Kawa Cine Promenars, uh, but I find it to be, 
you can use these lenses on a lot of different projects, whether it's commercial or narrative. Um, I feel like they're not the craziest vintage lenses, but they're not the like cleanest and they sit right in the middle. So I really love them. I wanted to just share about why I've bought these three times and about these new this newest set. And I also rent them out. So if you're interested, go to my website, joshharam.com, and you can actually fill out a form and we can start a rental. If I'll ship them uh, different places in America. And um, that's it for the video. I hope you liked it. Peace.